Good morning, it's Miss Ann. Today is Thursday, July 30th. It's the second last day of July. And yesterday we learned how to draw a toad. Um, and we learned that toads, um, they live more on land. Um, we drew a toad that's living somewhere uh, around Miss Ann's patio. Today we're going to draw a frog. We're going to learn how to draw a frog. A frog, this is an American bullfrog. Um, they live up to, I think, six to seven years or eight years, eight years. So um, I'm posting a video of um, uh, the sounds and uh, the way that the bulldogs make bull, not bulldogs. <laughs> we're not doing bulldogs, although we could do that next week. Um, bullfrogs. The sounds that they make, they're kind of fun. So um, so let's get started. All we're gonna need, um, because they don't have a lot of color, they have, um, we're gonna use a drawing pencil. And we're gonna use some green, uh, either crayon or coloring pencil. Um, some yellow, oh, that's not a really good yellow. Um, we should probably use a softer yellow, but I don't know where my colored pencils are. Um, and a little bit of brown. Okay, and we could use our eraser, but um, we really don't need to because we're going to kind of co color it over. So, let's get started. So, oh, this is me. I tried making it a couple times. <laughs> I didn't get it right. Okay. Okay, so, we're going to draw very lightly to start with because what are we drawing? We're drawing the guidelines, right? And some of the times the guidelines um, we're going to erase over or kind of color over. So we're going to draw really lightly. Okay, can everybody see this? Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is draw kind of his head area, um, which includes his, the, 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 oh, excuse me. Uh, we're going to kind of concentrate on this area right now. So what do we got here? We got a nice line. It looks like it's like an arc, maybe a part of a circle. And then a whole half of a circle, actually probably even more than a half of a circle. Then a nice C shape. It doesn't look like a C shape and then come around. Okay, so we're gonna draw this part of the body. Okay, which is pretty much his head, his head outline. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here so I can look at it. I don't know where to put things so I can look at them. Okay, all right, so we're gonna start with um, Kind of his forehead, if, if frogs had foreheads. And then we're going to do the half of a circle for his eye. How's that look? Looks okay. And then remember that C shape? We're going to make the C shape. Kind of. And then we're going to go like that. Okay, so it actually looks kind of like a C, doesn't it? It looks like a C, kind of a crooked C with a little pop-up on it. I think it looks pretty good. I think we did a good job. Okay, so then let's draw. This is um, if we were facing um, the frog, this would be his right eye, and this is going to be his left eye. So let's draw his uh, left eye. His left eye is going to be just a pure circle. So let's draw a nice circle over here. Okay, and then we're going to draw his upper lid and his lower lid. And we're gonna do the same thing for this eye. I'm gonna draw his upper lid and his lower lid. Their eyes stick out. They're not like, like our, the human eyes are um, in, the eyeballs are inside the skull and we only see part of the eyeball. But with frogs, you really see a lot of their eyeball, so. All right, so now let's draw, he's got some like nostrils or something happening over here like that. Okay. How's that look? Does that look okay? All right, so we're going to do a little hook there, and then we're going to kind of do his lower lip like that. How's that look? Does it look okay? Okay. Then, then we're going to draw his back. Now his back is going to be a nice line that goes all the way out like that, and then all the way down like that. Okay. Nice line, like that, okay. And then we're gonna draw, let's see where we're gonna start, we're gonna start over here. Um, his front leg, 
So it's his left leg. So we're going to do a nice, and then we're going to draw like little fingers. It looks like he's got, I don't know how many fingers he has, but uh, we're going to put three. Okay. Like that. I don't know. Yeah, that looks okay. Does that look okay? Yeah. Okay. Now we got his belly. So his belly is going to come around here. Eh, maybe here. An eraser. Does that, look, does that look okay? It's a little skinnier than the first one. Okay, now we're going to draw his back leg. And remember how we did the toad? We did a couple lines because the frog's legs and the toad legs, they bend. Um, they're really long legs. Um, so, but when they're sitting like this, here, let's look at this. This is really two parts of the leg. It's actually, there's a leg that goes this way, then a leg that comes this way, and then a leg that comes this way. So they're really long. So we're just gonna draw an oval, a nice size oval, like right here. Like that, is that an oval? And then we're gonna draw another part of his leg that kind of, is below it. Now and then we're going to put three little toes or whatever they are. There. There we go. <gasps> then we're going to draw his, um, his, just his right arm. You just see a little bit of it. Like it's there. How's that look? That well, looks pretty good. They don't have tails, so there's no tail to draw. Okay. So let's use, um, they're kind of, gre they're green, um, they're olive green, that was the description that I saw, and to make olive green, we could use our green, and then maybe a little bit of yellow, okay, so, and then a little bit of brown. So let's just go back and forth, like that, all the way across. We're not gonna color the eye. We're gonna color the lids, so let's take care of those. Okay, but we're not gonna color the inside because the inside is really dark. It's not green, it's, um, it's not black. I don't know what it is. They have like weird eyes. Um, you'll see in the video. Do everybody see what we're doing? Good. We're gonna do that. Now, what we could do is we could put him on something, like on a lily pad. Oh, why don't we do that? We'll do that. Because it's just, we need scenery here. So we're going to put him on a lily pad, like in the middle of a pond. We live in freshwater ponds. Um, there's a place that we go to around where we live um, called Chanticleer. It's this really pretty gardens. Um, and they have a really pretty pond that you could always find frogs and turtles and fish. Okay, how's that look? Okay, so now remember we wanted to make it olive, so let's do his underbelly. Um, his underbelly is supposed to be, I kind of messed this up, it's supposed to be whiter with yellow splotches and I made the whole thing green, so. Thank you, Colin. Okay, so we're just kind of making this kind of a green yellow, but more kind of olive-y. Thank you. Yeah, it looks good, I think. Yeah, it does. It's not too hot. What? Not too hot yet. No. Okay. Where are the people coming? They don't say. They just say they're coming. Okay, so, oh, I forgot to color his eye. Oh, this is the broken pencil. Remember that pencil that we you used yesterday? Pardon? You working today? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I am working. Yeah. Where are you going? Uh, around 11.30. Okay. Okay, let's see. All right. 
What color should we make this out? I think they're kind of black. So let's just make black. We could just use our uh, drawing pencil. That looks really good. Okay, so to make a lily pad, a lily pad is um, it's like a it's a giant leaf um, that sits on top of the water. So, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, do I have a picture of a lily pad? I really don't. Not on me. Not right with me. So we're just gonna make like this big um, kind of like this thing. It's like a big leaf. Like that. And then around it, we can make blue. Okay. How's that? But it's going to be green. And he's green. So. Hmm. So. Let me fix this. Look at what I did with this pencil. Let me sharpen it. And then there's a flower with a lily pad. But I don't know they look like offhand I should have um, thought about this a little bit um, you know what I'll do I'll post a picture uh, well I'm gonna post a picture of or post a video of the um, the bullfrogs making noises because they're they're fun to listen to because their their bottom of their um, mouth gets really big it gets filled with air And um, it's almost like they burp. I mean, they don't, but it sounds like that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, but I'll find a picture of a bullfrog on a lily pad, just to show you what a lily pad looks like, because I don't really think they look like this. <laughs> this was, they look, oh, well, maybe they do, I don't know. And then there's like a, there's a stem that goes underneath the water, and they're actually rooted at the bottom of the pond. And, okay. All right, let's get in here. Roxy the dog has not made a showing yet today in today's video. I don't know where she is. I think she's inside. I took, took her for a walk this morning and it's pretty hot already so she's probably inside. It's supposed to rain tonight which will be good. Can you see what I'm doing? This, I'm uh, kind of close. The camera's really close to the. I don't know. Somehow, let's come down. Oh. Okay. I think I'd probably do this faster with crayon. Actually, look bad. I have to say, I like it on the lily pad. Whew. This pencil. All right. Okay. Now, do I have blue? Do I have a blue pencil? Hmm. I don't know. What's this blue? This is good. What color is this? This is like a sky blue. Hmm. How's that look? Well, that looks good. That's a good color. Yeah. So we're just gonna, you don't have to do all of this, but you could if you want to. So just go around the lily pad. 
kind of like that. Like that. Oh, I like this. Actually, I really do like this. We should have done a background for the for uh, the toad. <laughs> We'd have to draw my patio. <laughs> and I don't know. To think about that. He actually doesn't. He goes in the corner. There's we have a wall in the patio, and there's a hole in the wall that lets the water run through it. And I think he lives in the hole, or that's where he hangs out. It's a safe place from predators, like we, I don't know what the predators of toads would be, maybe um, foxes, we have foxes, um, sometimes comes through our yard. So this probably feels safer. Oh, I like that, that looks really good. You know, we probably should do the whole thing blue. Should we? Yeah. Just back and forth like that. This is where you're going to be sloppy. Just when you go back and forth like big spaces, you want know, to be real specific. We just don't want to go into the, the frog or the lily pad. There. I like. Let's see. How's that look? That looks really good. Cool. All right. Okay. I think we're done. So, um, I hope you have a good week and um, today's Thursday. So, and I will talk to you next week. I don't know what we're going to do next week to think about it. Hopefully I'll see an animal or something that inspires me and we'll want to draw it. So I will talk to you later. Bye.